Hi guys, this is Sean from AIDS at Education and today we're going to do our vocab lesson once again, week five. And today we're going to do phrasal verbs. So we're going to learn 15 new phrasal verbs. Now what are phrasal verbs? Well, they're a combination of words, for example, give up, give in, give away, throw away. Um, these words make your English sound more casual and day to day. That's what native speakers use mostly when we're talking. It's not just, you know, simple words, but it's a combination of words that makes it more casual, more day to day. And uh, I suggest you really use them in your speaking, not only for your exams for IELTS or CELPIP, but when you're talking with people, because this is how people mostly talk. So let's get started with the first word. It is call off. Call off means to cancel. It has nothing to do with actually calling someone. It means to cancel something. So I want to call off our meeting today because I'm sick. Means I got to cancel it. Uh, number two is give away. Simple, give away, two combinations, two, two words, combination. Uh, give away means to donate something. So if I, for example, if I pass the uh, juice on on my table to my friends or family, I'm not giving them away the juice because it's donation. Give away means donation. So if I give away some money to a needy person, I'm giving away, I'm donating something. So instead of donating, next time you can use the word give away, which is a phrasal verb. Number three is hand in. Hand in is very common. Uh, you must have heard of it in your university, in school. I want to hand in my assignment, right? So that means to submit, submit something. Now, now we're, nowadays we're online, right? So if you submit something to your teacher online through emails, are you going to say hand in? This is a trivia question. Think about it for a sec. Hand in for online submissions. The answer is yes, we can use it. So hand in just means to submit. It doesn't literally mean giving something with your hand. It could be online too. It could be an online submission. Okay, number four is hold up. Now hold up has nothing to do with actually holding something up, but it means to, well, it has two meanings. One meaning is to rob, rob a bank. I can say I'm holding up a bank, but that's not that common. It's just good info for you to know. What's most common is to delay. Delay and hold up mean the same thing. So the car that was not running or the car that broke down on the road, broke down is a phrasal verb too, uh, the car that broke down on the road was holding up the traffic. So it was delaying up the traffic. Or let's say uh, my laptop didn't start uh, on time today and that was holding up me making this YouTube video. So that means to delay. Number five is make out. Make out means to understand. So if you're saying something and it's unclear to me, I can say I cannot make out what you're trying to say. Um, let me do another sentence. I cannot make out what you're trying to say because you're being vague. V-A-G-U-E. Remember vague? It was in one of our vocab lessons. This is a trivia question. Let me know in the comments what you remember from my definition of the word vague. I think it was on week one of vocab practice. So I'll leave that up to you guys. Just a little trivia. Uh, number six is to put off. Put off is common. O-F-F, -F, two Fs. It means, again, to delay. This is the other word that means delay or postpone. Um, I want to put off my class because I'm sick. Delay my class. Uh, number seven is set up. Set up is two words, S-E-T and then space and U-P, U -P, sorry. Uh, set up means to arrange something or organize something. So again, the two words. Um, I want to set up um, a meeting with you because I think we can work together. I want to set up uh, a good party for Bob because he's my best friend. So that means to arrange something. You guys must have heard of, I mean, seen computer setup, right? When you're setting up something and that's just usually one word because that's the software setup. But if you're talking about the action of organizing something, I'm setting up some, uh, some you know, chairs or tables, then it's two words, not one. Uh, number eight is talk over. It means to discuss something in detail. So I want to talk over your uh, resume with you. So I'm hiring someone I can use those words. Number nine, turn down it could be used to turn down the volume, uh, but it also could mean reject. So I'm turning down um, my application to to work at some place. So I rejected it. Or an employer can turn down my application. An employer can reject me. 
So that means to reject, turn down. Uh, 10 is use up. Use up is like using something, but this one is tricky. So for example, let's say I bought um, two canes of uh, Coca-Cola and they were both for myself and I drunk them. So I'm not really using them up. But let's say I bought two canes, one for me and one for, for my friend Bob. Um, Bob had one cane, I had one cane, but I drunk both canes, two canes. So I also drunk his portion, which means I used up both canes of Coca-Cola. So use up means to consume something completely so much that you don't have it left for the other person. So it's like you're depriving someone else, and that's when you say use up. Get over means to recover. So you get over a bad breakup, get over a disappointment. It means to recover. It's mental. Look after means to take care of. So next time you want to say, I want to take care of my dog, you can say, I want to look after my dog. Sounds more fancy. Run into means to meet. So next time you want to say, I want to meet someone, or well, let's say you met someone at the mall, you can say, I ran into this person in the mall. Uh, and it means by chance, by coincidence mostly. It's not something that was planned. Next, word number 14 means, uh, well, it says break in on, break in on. It's three words now, and that means to interrupt. So Bob and Sarah are talking, and I broke in on their conversation, either by interrupting or by doing some action, but I basically interrupted them. So I can say he or she or I broke in on someone's conversation, which is rude. 15 means to get along, well, it says get along with, and it means to make friends with someone. So I usually don't get along with my boss, but now I'm trying to since I want a promotion. So it means to be friends with or or uh, being cordial with someone, being friendly with someone. So that's the last word, and that's our lesson today with 15 new phrasal verbs, which you can use in your writing and speaking. Please, guys, pay attention to these week, weeks of vocab practice because I'm giving you 15 words every week. Right now, it's week five, so you should have 75 new words in your vocab. That's the benefit of listening to this video every week when we do this. And do it for the next five weeks. You'll, you'll learn 75 uh, new words again. That will be 150 words in total. So you keep doing this every week. You'll keep gaining momentum and building your English level even if you have done your exams and you're continuing to build your English level, I, after years of experience, still learn these things. Vocab is a never-ending task. So please keep listening to these lectures or these videos, and I'm sure this will help. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, so you can get notifications whenever I upload these lessons, and I hope these really benefit you. Until next time, take care.